What you're looking at here is armatures out of fuel pump motors. We re resurrected these because they caused drivability problems. However, they did not cause a nose start. We're going to be using a lab scope to look at the pattern generated as these brushes go across the different segments of the commentator. They cause peaks and valleys as they switch between them. These patterns will tell us about the current flow and we can even calculate the speed of the motor. And the speed has a lot to do with volume. We can identify problems before they cause a no start. We connect it here to the maxi scope of the USB connector with the other end going to the tablet from the Autel. This will hook the two together and they'll start talking. If we want to turn it on, we press and hold the power button for five seconds. That'll turn it on. You'll get an opening screen. Slide this to the right, and you'll unlock the system. Now we're going to slide this left because we're not going to do diagnostics. We're going to use the maxi scope. We select that, and we open it up. Now if you look carefully, you'll notice they already have set for amps because I've been doing this before. We'll go through and see what we need to do to set this up for amps. To do that, we're going to select the tool icon. That's the one in the middle up there, and by pressing on that, we drop down and see this menu. Now we've got math channels. That's for advanced testing. We've got select a probe. We're looking for an amp probe. That's a good place to start right there. So we're going to select a probe. When we select that, we see a number of choices. Voltage probes, a lot of current probes. We're going to use a low amps probe. We're going to select the 20 amp mode from the amps probe. It's got a 20 and 65 for the C65. Now that 20 amps probe is one millivolt for 10 milliamps. That's the first setting as you click up on your amps probe. So we're all set now to ready to go and capture the data with our amps probe. Remember, we're looking at the amperage from the, from the fuel pump motor to judge how well it's working. We've chosen to place a jumper in place of the fuel pump relay. This lets us start and control the relay without having the engine running. And we can hook our low amps probe around this jumper and measure the current flow through the jumper. We have a complete section showing you how to do this and what you're doing and how to pick the various spots to do it. Some spots to test are better than others. Go see that section before you get too deep into this. As soon as we connect our amp probe, we get a pattern on the screen. It looks a little nervous now moving around. We're going to try to steady that by setting triggering. Now, there's two ways to set triggering. Manual, which we're, our, our default is set in manual. We're going to go and select that and go to automatic. In automatic, it'll help to lock it in. Now, we're measuring our DC amperage right now when it's steady. We're measuring about 4.67 amps. Ideal would be 6 to 8 amps. There's more than amps to be considered here. We have hit the stop button at the top up there to stop the pattern. We've moved our cursors over so we can measure how long it takes to make eight hills and valleys. That's the time of one rotation. This tells us about speed of rotation. The speed of the pump tells us about the volume of fuel that's delivered. This is more important than amperage. The amperage is there to get us the speed. This vehicle has about 130, 40,000 miles on it. The pump shows some wear, but it's still acceptable. Let's look at a pump that has high wear on a vehicle with 245,000 miles. 245,000 miles, 16 years old, at 17.2 milliseconds when our maximum is 16.5. We're way down low, below 2 amps. We can measure the amps accurately so you can see it. This system is not reliable. We're running 1.84 amps when ideally we should be running around 6 to 8 amps. This is a perfect demonstration of how you can use the scope, this scope in particular, to find a problem before it leaves the vehicle stranded beside of the road. If you want to know exactly how to set the time measurement, if you want to know more about the triggering, if you want to know more about the theory of how we're testing fuel pumps, Go use the other sections. This is the introduction to show you how things can be accomplished. Hopefully it's enough for information for you to want to know more. The equipment for this program was provided by Altel.